Here we have $9,000 to invest into an account earning 4% interest compounded quarterly. So our money here is going to be compounded, which means we're going to get interest on our interest. And in particular, the annual interest rate is this 4%. So to put this all into a table into Excel, we do it by quarter. In order to do that, we need to figure out what is the quarterly interest rate. So a quarter is four times a year. So to figure out what the quarterly interest rate is, we divide the annual interest rate by four. So let's do that into Excel. So we'll type an equation. So equals our annual interest rate 0 0.04 divided by four because there's four quarters hit enter. So this is the quarterly interest rate right here is 0 0.01 or 1%. So now let's fill this into Excel. This is how much interest we get each quarter. So we have our starting balance at the very beginning um, at quarter zero is 9,000. So let's type that in, 9,000, hit enter. And then the interest gained in the first quarter is that 1% or the rate of 0 0.01. So we get 1% of our previous quarter's balance. So we take the previous quarter, we're going to do this as an equation, so type equals. The previous quarter is 9,000. So we use cell C2 and we get 1% of that 9,000. So we multiply by 1% or 0 0.01. And so we get $90 worth of interest in that first quarter. So to get our new balance, we just add the interest gained to our previous balance. So we take equals the previous balance C2 plus the interest gained, which is the $90 or in B3, hit enter. And we have the balance after the first quarter is $9,090. So we're going to be doing this, it says for five years, so five times four, because four quarters is 20 total quarters. So let's fill for 20 quarters. So we have quarter zero and quarter one. So we just highlight with a thick white cross in the middle, click and drag, let go. And then we want to fill drag for 20 quarters. So we put our mouse over the little green box. So we have the thin black cross, click and drag, and we see the number on the right. We go until that says 20, let go. So now this is for 20 quarters. And this is one nice thing with Excel. We could do the, the fill drag and it wouldn't be that much work, but we can also just go to the little green corner and double click it and it will fill all the way in. There's some zeros here, but that's okay. That's just because we haven't filled out some of the cells that it's using. Like if we click here, it's using a cell that we don't have any uh, values in yet. So it just outputs as zero. But once we do the same thing for the balance, we go to the little green corner, double click, everything fills in. Now this looks really messy, a lot of decimals, and it's not really in the context of this problem. So let's put it in the context of the problem, which is money. So let's highlight all of our money values here. And we want to change the number. So in the home tab up here on number, we can click the drop down menu where it says general and we can change it to currency. And then all these values are now in dollar values rounded to the nearest cent.